Since I moved back to Thailand three years ago, I insta signed back up for Party Poker, and I've been playing on the site exclusively ever since. Obviously, a lot has changed since the glory days, and it's no longer the mega fish pond that it used to be. But at the same time, the company has made a lot of improvements, and there's a bright future ahead for Party Poker. For one, Party Poker is already the third largest poker site, and the number one largest publicly traded online gambling company in the world. They also own BWIN and the brand World Poker Tour. And given the fact that they left the U.S. market voluntarily after the UIGEA passed and then paid fines to the Department of Justice, they are now in a great shape should poker be legalized and regulated in the USA. So I would expect party poker to grow larger with each year. Now about the fish. Of course, it's not ever going to be the same as it once was in 2004-2005. But I still find that on Party Poker, you have your average fish, just like every other site. But there tend to be more fish that will spew off buy-in after buy-in compared to sites like Full Tilt and Stars. They'll just keep reloading and are literally open shoving every hand. Another nice change Party Poker has recently introduced is a change in the structure of the site. You can see that right now it's a trial from 1-2 no limit through 3-6 no limit. They have removed the 20 big blind games. So all you have here is games that are 30 big blind min to 100 big blind buy-in. Also, you can see that some of the tables are jackpot tables. And the jackpot right here is 244,000. Basically, you have to lose the pot with four of a kind eights or better. And you win half the pot. And uh, the losing hand gets 30% of the pot. Essentially, it's a lot more rake, but the only uh, vig that they take is a 10% house fee, so it ends up just being a lot more variance if you decide to play the jackpot tables. I'd, I'd recommend to only play them if there's a big fish sitting, but keep in mind that you only actually, EV-wise, lose 12.5% of money that you pay towards the jackpot rake in the long run. Another concern, at least for now, is the traffic. Party Poker is still mainly a Euro site, so according to Poker Site Scout, basically the, the traffic drops off pretty steeply and is geared more towards European players. I've found that the best time to play is around 8 p.m. GMT, so around 8 p.m. London time is when you'll get the most games and the most number of recreational players on the site. The best changes, however, are the VIP rewards. First of all, the internal party point store has improved dramatically, as you can see. This is taken directly from the party poker site. Now, most players will be palladium level. It's fairly easy to get palladium. You only need to rake a couple thousand, probably, I think it's about 2,000 a month, and you'll become palladium. And if you buy the 20,000 point bonus, that's good for 30% rake back. So essentially for every $1 you pay in rake, you earn two party points, as you can see. Now there's also these Palladium Elite bonuses. If you decide to save up a ton of party points, you can get insane rake back all the way up to 50%. However, in order to get Palladium Elite, you need to rake around $6,700 per month just on party poker. And it is like the star system, so if you start out at, say, bronze level and then silver and gold, as long as you save the points until you're palladium or palladium elite, you can cash everything in at the current rate. Also, if you have a VIP status at another site such as Full Tilt, Stars, or Absolute, as long as you can send in proof, Party Poker will happily instantly upgrade you to a higher VIP level. The monthly promos on Party Poker also add an amazing amount of additional rake back. These are my calculations, so please don't uh, take them as fact, but here are some examples of common promotions Party Poker runs. 
Usually they'll run the Gladiator promo twice a year, once in November for the WPT, and then once in May for the World Series of Poker. And so the Gladiator, if you rake $18,000 or earn 36,000 party points, they'll give you a World Series of Poker seat worth $10,000. So that rake back alone is 55%. But even for smaller time players, the rake back on Gladiator is around 20 22% and you can see here other common promos are around 20% I would expect for a player who rakes around four or five thousand a month on party poker could expect around 17 and a half percent additional rake back just from the party points so as you can see if you get the if you choose to get the bonuses the VIP bonus which is worth about 30% and then are able to get another 20% in monthly promos. That's already 50% rate back. And that does not include any additional bonuses or promos Party Poker decides to award your account. Often, you'll just get credited with random bonuses. And there's also the 100% up to $500 sign-up bonus. So all in all, the, the rate back and the rewards are pretty good. And also keep in mind you can probably get a deal with an affiliate such as some sort of coaching offer. Um, so certainly the all in all combined rewards on Party Poker now are, are much improved and I think actually a little bit better than iPoker. Now let me show you a couple tricks with the software. It's a little unuser friendly at first. This is the new table theme. It's called the modern layout and as you can see it just looks a little busy. I'm not a big fan but there's ways to modify this layout as well as the classic theme. If you just click contact us we can help you with uh, some mods and some scripts to make it better. So personally I like to go to preferences and then themes switch table to the classic table and you can see that my mod here is gonna look fairly basic. I have the waffle cards installed and uh, basically just a black table, no, no player images. In order to make this look a little better you need to go to preferences and then table options uncheck display characters player image on table if that's if that's selected it'll look like that and you'll just get more gross stuff on the table I also like to disable the poker sounds the cards and chips animations the congratulations etc etc just to make to make it a little easier to multi table there's also a couple third-party software and auto hockey scripts that work great with Party Poker now. I made a working bet pot version for Party both on cash games and tournaments that is pretty easy to set up once you install Auto Hotkey. And there's a program called Free Party Hand Grabber which will actually uh, record any observed hand histories. So this hand right here will get recorded into a folder and I can then import this hand history directly into Holder Manager which even includes uh, mucked cards at Showdown. So it's a great way to data mine yourself or you can also purchase. There's soft, there are sites around that will let you purchase hand histories on Party Poker since they let you data mine. Okay, lastly, there's a few little buttons here that most people miss. It took me about three months before I even noticed these and it's basically just down here. There's the My Tournaments, My Waitlist, Private Tables, Buddies and Player Search. The best one to use obviously is Buddies. So if you find a player who's a big buddy you can click Add, type their screen name and they'll, they'll become listed in your buddy list. And you can also do a player search as long as that player has hide me from search unchecked you'll be able to find them. So if you want to search for your buddies, you can just click buddies. Here are all my buddies that are currently playing. And then I just click search. And so right now I have, this is the only buddy that's showing and I can click his table. 
it'll pop up here. Let me move it up. This is uh, another auto hockey called Stars Planner that works. That'll snap the table right into place and then join the waitlist.